today buddy we finally did it we did it we talked My about God. this last weekend and uh where are we going oh i know where we're going oh. you have united states of craft beer i'm thinking we're gonna go into this area right around here okay. we're gonna um hit up 54 and 55 which is black hog brewing and Ooh, black hog's got some good shit yeah so we're gonna go there we're gonna go to black hog brewing and then like i said in this area we have a shit ton of breweries that we can we can go to um yeah we're just gonna go in that area all right let's hit the road let's come back no mo no mo no mo no mo hit the road jack Hi. all right black hog brewery all right we just got a whole light of all 12 beers on tap so that's exciting. Thank you All very right, much. Guys, no Thank problem. You Enjoy. So much. Of course. Hi, Ellen. How's it going? Little DIY muffin tray. All right, let's move on to the next. We got um, BHB. Oh, you already took a sip of it. Way ahead of you, bud. BHB IPA. Three seven five. This I like. That's a good rating. This I like. That I like. That I like. <laughs> right, let's try the sour. Wow, it's very sour. I'm gonna try the sour. Wow, it's very sour. <laughs> Alright, which one was it? Blueberry muffin sour. So, um, something I wanna talk about. I'm not a big sour fan. I know that's kind of like the movement, but it's a shitty movement and I don't like them. So I'm going to drink it anyways, but I'm not going to like it. Like, yo, it's just not a beer. That's the problem. It's not a beer. You want to know something about I feel like I took a Sour Patch Kid and I melted it and I'm drinking it right now. That's, I don't know. Go for it. <laughs> So, I usually don't like sours either, but I actually like that one. Yeah. That one wasn't bad. I'm not gonna lie to you. When I took that first sip, it was very sour, but I was kind of like impressed with it. I will say, it does taste like a blueberry muffin. After, I disagree. Uh, the aftertaste, I didn't, I didn't the aftertaste, taste. the aftertaste was a blueberry muffin. I taste blueberry muffin right now. Maybe I'd have to drink more of it, but I didn't get the blueberry muffin taste. Um, so for those of you who are interested in knowing, um, when it comes to me rating beers, I'm not biased. Although I'm not a sour fan, I try to, I try to take that and and put it off to the side and uh, rate beers based off of the style. So. Um, even though I don't like sour beers, I'm rating this sour that I just had a four because I think it really is a good sour beer if you like sour beers, although I don't like it. I'm still rating it a four because it is a good sour beer, like it is. I just don't like sours. So um, yeah, I rated it a four because it's a good sour beer. If you guys are in the sours, I mean, you probably would really like this. It really is a good sour beer. Um, I just don't like the style, but I can't, I can't, give a bad rating because I don't like a style. If it's good for the style, then it should be a highly rated beer. And this was really good for the style. So did I make sense when I said that? Absolutely. Okay. I made sense. I made sense. That's all that matters. We have a little fam. Two, two brothers and their mom. No, it would be These two are brothers. And this is their mom. This By the is way, Howie. I'm Corey. Nice hi, to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. I have no hands, but hi. Oh, yeah. Thank you. This is Howie. Hi, Howie. How are you? How are you? <laughs> and this is Finley, who's very jealous. Finley? <laughs> I was like, wait, I'm the only one who should be being pet right now. I'm the cutest. <laughs> and this is Jessie. Oh, Hi, Jessie. Jessie. Hey. <laughs> She's like, what is, and this is our neighbor. The neighbor. The neighbor. Jessie, you're such a good girl, I know. Yes, you're such a good boy. <laughs> 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 I love it. Jessie. 
Hey. There's people that don't like the camera either. You're not lonely. <laughs> Local dog. Fed up with <laughs> Thank you guys very much for that. Oh, I appreciate welcome. it. Thank you. So this one here, this is the uh, mango hazy IPA. Ooh, smells really good. Dude. It almost smells like mango Phenomenal. juice. Phenomenal. It's really good. Very strong mango taste. Not a fan. Really? Not a fan. I like that, dude. That was very good. Usually we uh, usually we agree on the beers that we like, but that one. Uh, we're gonna have to agree to disagree. We're gonna have to agree to disagree on that. Agree to disagree. 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 Phenomenal beer. Terrible. Wow, four. I'll probably give it like a 2.75. Nice. If you'd be like phenomenal and be like, dude, I do not like it, that never happens. You wanna know what I want you to do, Brandon? What's that? Before you rate that beer, I want you to go and get a full glass of that and you tell me if you could finish it. I think you're gonna end up finding out it's gonna be just like that peach one where you're just like, oh, dude, really good. Yeah, you're right. Couldn't finish it. A full 12 of that and I want you to see if you can I finish will. that. I plan to. Okay. You want to know what I plan on I'll getting? Is that Hazy Frost IPA. That's one of my favorites so far. So we agree on that. I like that. So we agree that the, the Frost... Wait, did you, like, frost. did you like the Mango Hazy better? Yeah. I'd have to have two fulls, but I think so, yes. We're drinking today, boys. We got, we got to determine this. That Hazy Frost so far has taken the cake. We still got four beers left, but that Hazy Frost has taken the cake so far. I can tell you right now, I'm not gonna like that one. The one that looks like fruit punch ain't gonna be for me. Thank you guys again. Bye. Thank you. I'm gonna follow you, Corey. <laughs> now we got some more breweries to go to. You and don't have a push to start. This guy. You peasant. Coming from a guy who has got like 230,000 miles on his car. <laughs> <laughs> Should I take, you want me to take one of these? I'll, I'll, I'm gonna give you a shit ton of them, so you can just give me that one right now. Okay. I got a lot of them that you can hand out to people. Um, I'm not going to be the type of dude that's going to stick these on your windshield wiper because like I'm only going to hand them out to people that I talk to. I want it to be kind of a personal interaction. I'm not trying to just like throw these at people and be like, follow me, bitch, you know, but like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm going to give some out to like friends, family and be like, oh my God, like, yeah, my friend's got like a fucking YouTube channel and it's like really cool. You should go check it out. Here's a like, okay, that's cool. I'm going to hand these out to people that I actually interact with that I actually talk with. Are you recording me right now? So yeah, um, anyways, we're done with Black Hog Brewery. This place was cool, met a lot of cool people. Um, anyway, or anyways? <laughs> no, okay. We're gonna cut that one He's out. He won't be in my videos anymore. <laughs> so, it looks like this brewery's got this fodder fest. Fodder Fest? Seems to be a big deal. It says you want Fodder Fest, you need Fodder Fest, come get Fodder Fest. So we, we need Fodder Fest, that's what they're saying. That's what they're saying. Alright, and they're saying it's back? Freshly kegged and canned, hot off the ding dang presses. Um, yes, it says Fodder Fest is back. Um, I guess it's brewed using a traditional double decoction Nash and hopped with German Spalt and Spalter Select. After the boil, it rests in their copper cool ship for one hour. It is then transferred over our Baudelot cooler and cold fermented. Finally, it is lagered in our oak fodders prior to release. And it tastes malty, woody, oaky, crisp, and clean. So it almost sounds like it's their fancy way of saying it's an Oktoberfest, which is, it's Oktoberfest season right now. Yeah. We've been drinking a lot of Oktoberfest for the past couple weeks. Um, This is just... I don't know, it's just what we do. Uh, especially in New England. I feel like it's a really big New England thing. Oh, okay. yeah. It's just fall beers, pumpkin spice well, beers, New October the best fest. place for fall. This is very true. It, it is. You know? If you guys really like fall, you guys got to make it to New England, whether it's Connecticut, Vermont, New Hampshire, whatever. Anyways, um, the, the beer right now in, uh, in fall time for New England is just, it's Oktoberfest and pumpkin spice. Um, and, and we're also going to get into the, uh, the, the coffee milk stouts and stuff like mm -hmm. that. You know, we're, we're get we're switching over now. Good um, for stouts. 
good time for stouts, good time for beer, but really good time for um, Oktoberfest and pumpkin spice beers. So they're, what is it called? Fodderfest. Fodderfest. I'm pretty sure it's the same style beer. All right, let's go check it out. Citrango, right? Yep. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Mm. Wow, much better than what it smells like. Not saying it smells bad, but when I smelt it, I didn't think I was gonna like it. But because it it, it, it smelt really sweet, you know, and I don't really mm -hmm. like sweet beers. But this is actually pretty well balanced. It's smooth. Yes. Very smooth. Very citrusy, hence mm. the name. Yeah, very citrusy. Very citrusy, very smooth. And um I mean, don't get me wrong, there is a there's a sweet aspect to it. Yeah, definitely. But it's it's not like like when I when I smelt it, I thought it was going to be overly sweet, but it doesn't taste overly sweet. It's really well balanced. Very good. It is very good. I like it. Yeah, I like this. It's funny because That's a cool. That's a cool dog there. Thanks. You want to say hi? Yeah, yeah, I do actually. Hey. Loki. Hey. We just came back from uh, Black Hawk Brewery. We were just there. Oh, yeah. nice, nice. Yeah. So that that um, they had the uh, what was that like a rescue site? I guess it was an adoption event. We didn't even know what was going on. I just searched. We just got in this week, so I searched for dog friendly breweries, and I was like, let's mm -hmm. go there. And I was like, oh, there's an adoption event going on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So did did you get her from that adoption? No, no, we got oh, him okay, from okay. a place in uh, just over the border in New York. Oh, okay, so, nice, yeah. nice. Um, if you guys don't mind, I have a, uh, I just started a new YouTube channel. Oh, wow. Awesome. Um, I love watching YouTube. So, uh, yeah, it's a new channel. Okay. But anyways, if you guys are interested, this is the, uh, the card there for it. Yeah. I do a lot of brewery hopping. I do a lot of, um, I have a lot of longboarding vlogs. Cool. I, I pretty oh, much, yeah. I'm kind of trying to find what I want to do. So okay. right now I'm yeah. kind of just recording everything and I'm going based off of what people like. Cool. But if someone who watches YouTube a lot, like I watch yeah. a fuck ton of it, I would say like definitely get like brew hopping content. So where maybe go to a couple breweries, definitely like chat with your friends, like mm -hmm. yeah, that's you who you are as a person and like really let us get your vibe. Awesome, man. And, like, hey, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Jordan. Uh, I'm Corey, nice to meet you. And nice uh, meet cool you dog. Guys. Thanks. Yeah. I always wanted a little dog. I've always had little <laughs> dogs, but they've always had big dog energy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. You guys thank you, guys. Nice to meet you. I got this badge today. Remember you were saying? Take about it. Either you must be sampling or really like beer. That's 12 beers in one day. Yeah. I told That's you. Funny, about, right? I told you about that. I don't understand. We had 12 beers at that other place. Yeah, what about it? I didn't get that badge. Oh, well, I already got Maybe it. Maybe you already have it. Yeah. yeah. There's got to be a level. Yeah, I mean, you're a full-blown alcoholic. So <laughs> Greg would agree with you. What was that called? Catrango? How do you spell that? Contrango? Haha. <laughs> Citrango. C I T R A N. <laughs> <I said Citrango. laughs> Citrango. I'm going 3.75. What'd you do? I'm going 3.75. You just sounded like uh, El Presidente. El Presidente. El. El Presidente. El Presidente. Say room. Room. Um, Dave. say say cake, cake. Okay. Dave what the fuck's Portnoy. he talking about? <laughs> say room. No, Did I, I said, say room, rear? No, I said say room. That's not fair. That's not fair. You can't ask me to say words right now. You gotta ask me tomorrow. <laughs> You're gonna say. No. You gotta ask me tomorrow before the Patriots game. Oh, great. 
no. Great. No. See that? See what happens? He spills beer and he's like, dude, what the fuck? And then he makes me spill my own beer. Spill? <laughs> you got a tab going? Yeah. You're silly. Here we go. Wow. I'm going to be completely honest. They work magic with this. I'm not a sour fan. This is a sour beer. You look at this beer, the last thing you think is sour. The last thing you think is sour. What do you think when you look at this? Porter, stout. Dark, malty. Yep. All right. Take a sip. Wow. Yeah. There we go. I don't like it. <laughs> the funniest part about all that is like, you took a sip, you're giving this like whole full blown like description, review, and I was thinking, I was like, he never said like, well, it was good, bad, nothing, like, pass it to me, I sipped it, like, whatever. So, I don't like it, but I don't like <laughs> sours, and this is really sour. So, my whole thing is, is, is this a bad beer? No. no, it's not a bad beer. No, no, it's really good for the sour category. It's very good. I don't personally like it, but like, let me tell you something. This is the, the, even though I don't like it, it's the most interesting beer I've ever had in my entire life. I've, a sour porter? Really? Dude, most interesting beer I've ever had in my entire life. Wow. Yeah. Most interesting beer I've ever had in my entire life. Worth trying. Just come to it. Just OEC. come to OEC and grab the Phantasma. That's what Phantasma. it's called, Phantasma. Sour porter. Um, it's an American wild ale. Yeah, but besides the looks, put the porter aside. It ain't a fucking porter. It's a sour. <laughs> it's a sour. It's a sour. But it doesn't look like one. And it's not my favorite, but it's good. It's not my favorite, but it's good. It's good for the style. It's it's. I admire the craft of this beer. First off, I got to say, these Adirondack chairs are nice. Anyways, um, this is the beer that we have... This is the reason why we came here. This is their fodder yep. fest. Fodder fest. So this is their fodder fest, which is kind of like, I'm, I'm assuming it's like an October fest, maybe with a little bit of twist, you know? It seems that they, they might have customized it a little bit. Mm -hmm. But either way, it's a seasonal beer. Mm -hmm. um, it's We're in New England, it's fall time. So there's a lot of festive beers, October fest, and now we got fodder fest. Yep. So uh, cheers, buddy. Let's try cheers. this. Wow. It tastes like fall. They nailed it. That's then good. It is good. Then again, don't judge it by the smell. That go is by, very good. Go by the taste. It's very good. Wow. Crushable. Flavorful. It's, it's very flavorful. Very flavorful. You know what I noticed about all these beers that we've tried here so far? What? They have a lot of like flavorfulness to them. Yes. I know, like you said, they don't have IPAs here, but like the lager was like really, really crispy. Yeah. That I had. This is it's very flavorful. It's got like spices. It's like it's like really you said, good. it like tastes like fall. The sour, same thing. Very flavorful. Very flavorful. You know, a lot of times I've had beers like IPAs any type of beer really but I've had a lot of craft beers that it's kind of just like it's just beer yeah you know yeah but you this is I mean? this, this is very you, unique the yes, word is unique yes this absolutely. is very unique when you when you have one of these beers here at OEC yep. brewing um one they're they're really good but it's almost like it's it's something you've never had before yeah it's very unique and it's um it's really good yeah Definitely. It's really good. I'm here with uh, Hog, Wild, Hog Wild Barbecue, and we're at um, what's OEC Brewing. So uh, yeah, let's talk about your company, what you guys do. Yeah, so Hog Wild's a private barbecue catering company. Been around for 20 years. Uh, the owner, Bill, he's been uh, here in Connecticut. We have uh, four smokers. We do about four to 500 private um, events a year. Uh, anything from whole pigs 
to brisket's chicken, and um, yeah, we just do a lot of smoking. That's awesome, man. That's really cool. Let's take a look at his rig here. What do you, what do you got here? This is a uh, so this is a uh, Lang smoker. The manufacturer's out of Georgia. It's a uh, reverse flow smoker. So on the normal smokers, like if you're at Home Depot for the backyard, you'll see the firebox, the tank, and then the stack is on the opposite side. As you can see here, the stack is on the same side as the firebox. So what it does is we have the uh, hickory wood going here. There's a plate here. The heat goes underneath the plate. So we're getting some convection coming up. It loops around and then it goes out to the stack on the opposite side just a better uh, more even way for us to uh, control our temperatures for our meats. That's awesome man. So uh, what temperature do you usually like to... So we to typically uh, low and slow 250 degrees 275 um, primarily hickory um, if in the uh, event that we need to get a little more quicker heat we will throw some cherry wood in there uh, but primarily low and slow 250 hickory wood. Awesome man. Keep it that, simple. That's really cool man. Hey nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Awesome man. Have a good one. Yeah. All right, we're going to Better Half Brewery. Here it is. Boom. With the homies. With the homies. Eric and Brandon. Here we go. Uh, it's an American IPA with lactose. So it's, is it like uh, is it like creamy? A little bit. Yeah. Sweet. Is it sweet? It's pretty. Yeah. It's, it's got a little sweetness to it. Uh, yo, we're my buddy What's Shane, going on? Uh, hey half, guys. Dude. Yeah, man. What's up? You remember this dude from the hey. fucking longboarding video? How's the beer, bro? What do you got? Oh, yeah. I got a, I got a hoppy IPA. Uh, nice, dude. I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> uh, just out here having a good time with my friends and boys having a couple drinks down here at, uh, what is better, this? Better Half Brewery. Better Half Brewery. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, good. It's, uh, it's good Fucking brew. dope, dude. <laughs> Uh, vlogging. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Like yeah. a podcast type thing? Yeah. Uh, yeah, kinda. For sure. Connecticut vlogs. Connecticut vlogs, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello? What is that? No don't return. waste a drink. We got no go. returns, so don't waste a drink. So, yeah, what are we doing? We're heading back to... We're heading back to the house. We're heading back to the house. Yeah. No one really wants to do anything here. Yeah.